Hello folks, today I'll be giving you my take on the Kintsui Easy Vest Pro. And in this video, I'll be sharing with you the two mistakes that I made when ordering this vest and the one and only tweak that I'd like to see made to the Easy Vest Pro, but not the Max Vest. And this is a vest that I ordered many moons ago, but as you can see, it's in pretty good shape because I just didn't use it that much because number one you are severely limited to the amount of weight that you can add just 20 pounds or 9 kilograms but this Kintsui version 2 or v2 can take on 150 pounds or 68 kilograms and their max vest has a capacity of 300 pounds or 136 kilograms and number two it takes way too much time to add and take away weight whereas the Kintsui vest well, like you can see here, and this is what sets the Kintsui vest apart from the rest of the weighted vest because I can add more than enough weight than I need or as little as I need. And I can do it in a super fast way with weights that I already have. It's just slicker than snot on a doorknob. And number three, the Kintsui vest just looks way cooler. Welcome to another SIDS Hot Take video where I give you my take on products that I use and I let you know what tweaks would I like to see made to the product and would I buy them again. So here it is. This is their Pro line, their mid line, not their Max Vest. And I think I may have picked it up around two-ish years ago. And this is their V1 or version 1 vest. Since then, they have released their V2 vest. Here's a great image on breaking down the key differences between their new V2 vest lineup. In my video, I'll be focusing on their Pro vest, which is the vest that I have. And also later on the video, I'll be touching on a key feature that the Max vest has that I wish my Pro vest had. And before I forget, I want to give a shout out to Victoria at Kimsui because I have only good things to say about their customer service because I was emailing Kensui on and off about the specs for each of their vests and they were always quick and very friendly with responding back to my questions. Now back to the vest. If you're watching other videos on YouTube about this vest, a common thing you will hear is there just isn't anything else on the market like this vest and I'd have to agree. Now what do I use this vest for? Well you could use it for pretty much anything from crossfit to bodyweight exercises like I have but what I find myself most often using this vest for is for hiking and rucking. Actually I wasn't even familiar with the word rucking until one day in the radio I heard a guy talk about it and very quickly if you don't know what rucking is take a backpack throw some weight in it and go for a walk and by doing so I can get my heart rate up to a very vigorous rate with very low impact because playing basketball for the better part of my life this is a good thing but there are a ton of videos on YouTube about rucking and the benefits of it so I encourage you to check them out here's a great video that I watched that JB outside put together I'll even put that video of his downstairs in the description so you can check it out easily but for me, I sometimes struggle with getting my daily five kilometer walks in because it's just not really challenging enough for me. But by adding this vest to my daily walks, it has really picked up my heart rate and has become a new standard for my speed walks. Or as I also refer to them as, my poop walks. Because I try and walk at the fastest pace as possible as if I had to get to the washroom without having a Brazilian mudslide. And I also love using this vest for the increased resistance for my inclined walks backwards. Shout out to the knees over toes guy. Now you'll see here you can easily run in this vest because it fits really firm to your body. And maybe you will notice that I can use this vest with the standard size plates. But since then I've switched over to the Olympic size plates. And this segues me into the two mistakes that I made when ordering this vest. Because just like Mr. Miyagi said to young Danielson, oh, Danielson you always be behind the ear. <laughs> I was pretty wet behind the ear. Because back a couple of years ago, I mistakenly ordered the Olympic adapters, but that was a no-go because I didn't have the Olympic plates, but rather I was rocking the standard plates. So I had to turn around again and order the standard size adapters 
for my plates. Fast forward about a year ago, I ended up making the switch to the Olympic plates, which was all good because I already had that size from the original order that I had placed with my vest. And I must say, having the larger diameter plates is much slicker when it comes to sliding the plates on and off, and threading the adapters is surprisingly satisfying. Oh yeah. And the second issue that I had when it came to ordering this vest online that I wish I could do over again is since I'm not loading up the vest that heavy and I'm not even coming close to its 150 pound maximum capacity, I wish that I had have opted for the XT sleeves, even though I don't think the XT sleeves were available when I ordered this vest back a couple of years ago. Why? Number one, I do a lot of push-ups, and this would allow me to have a full range of motion rather than having to elevate my legs in the air. Time out guys, I have to make a quick correction here. Apparently the XC sleeves were available back when I first ordered my vest because I had them. I was pawing through my stuff in my man cave and came across them. Unfortunately, they are for the standard plates, not for the Olympic plates that I like to use now. Number two, when I'm walking and hiking, I like to throw a hoodie on to try and conceal the vest and plates just so that I don't look like too much of a dork than I already am. But with the two inch sleeves, I'm kind of looking like the humpback in Notre Dame. So I'm slightly still tempted at times to buy the XT sleeves, which would bring the two inches down to just one inch. <laughs> Who says size matters? Get your mind out of the gutter, guys. And if you're still watching me here and I provide you with any insightful input, you can give me a pat on my hunching back by liking or subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks. Oh, and by the way, if you do end up getting this vest, I think I officially found the easiest way to put the vest on, at least for me. So I like to start with the vest kind of like in a shot put position like this on my shoulder. And then I just tuck my chin down to my chest and bring it over my head. Make sure the Velcro straps are not stuck together at this point because it will make it much easier when you loop them in through the loops like I am now. Then I take both of the straps, bring them back, firmly and stick them together just like that. All right, this video is getting too long, so let's wrap up this video like all the other videos on my channel, and that is, number one, what tweaks would I like to see made to this vest, and would I buy it again? <laughs> tweaks, this is a no-brainer. Because as awesome of a job that Remy did with designing this unique and functional vest, there is one thing and only tweak that I wish it had, the buckles. Now, when I ordered this vest back a couple of years ago, both the Pro and the Max vest only came with Velcro straps, but that was with their V1 vest. Now the V2 vest, their top of the line Max vest, now it comes with buckles or snaps, but unfortunately not with my Pro vest here. Why do the buckles matter to me so much? Well, the very first time I went hiking with the vest, I didn't quite have the Velcro straps lined up. And by the time I finished coming down the mountain and took off the vest, I had chafed my brand new Under Armour shirt with a Velcro. So that made me a little poopy pants. So now I'm extra careful to make sure that I have the straps lined up. And secondly, after a strenuous workout, if you are really fatigued, it may be a little harder reaching around with your opposite arm to take out the Velcro compared to the snaps. Thankfully, I was designed with extremely long monkey arms, but for the average person, it could be a little harder. So having their midline pro vest also come with snaps, like their top of the line max vest, would be a massive tweak that I would like to see. But if I got it, I would be paying an additional 100 bucks, which would bump me up to their max vest, which would also come with some additional features. But for my chopstick frame, those are features that I just wouldn't utilize. And I'd be coughing up $100 just for the buckles. Come on, Remy, 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 Remy. From one Canadian to another. Maybe you could release some kind of Easy Vest Pro S line, S standing for snaps. And with this, you would get the Pro Vest with only just the snaps for let's say maybe around an extra 50 bucks. Come on, I'm just spitballing. I mean, just look at how slick the fastening system is. Remy will demonstrate for us here.
No, seriously. Making sure that the Velcro straps are lined up every time when I go hiking or rocking reminds me of my sneakers back in the day. Yeah, it was a late tire. And number two, what I buy it again? Yeah. Actually, it's a no-brainer because this vest is just so simple and scalable and well-designed. So maybe a better question would be, would I go with a Pro again? Or would I bump up another 100 bucks and go with a Max vest? Like I said, the Max comes with those snaps that I want so badly. Please run me. <clears throat> The Max also has aluminum rather than the fiberglass which is found on my Pro Vest. Frankly, I prefer the fiberglass on my Pro Vest just because of the quietness. So I guess I'm kind of torn on which vest I'd go with again if I had to do it over again. But I do love me those snaps. Hold on guys, after I finished doing all my edits, I realized that I should add this final clip and that is... Finally now I realize that yeah in hindsight I probably should have gone with a Max just because since now I'm using this vest mostly for hiking and rucking it would be nice to have that extra padding in the vest whereas I'm keeping the vest on my shoulders for at least an hour at one time with weights of course. So if you're someone who is looking at getting this vest and you're going to be using it for hiking or rucking, I do recommend spending extra money, going with the Max, just for that extra padding and for the buckles. Now if you want to take a look as to why I sold my power blocks and end up going with my favorite adjustable dumbbells, the newer bells, you can check out this video here or maybe these videos too. It's free. See ya.